everybody, once again, we are here at Antlers Fireside Grill, Canadian Lakes, with chef extraordinaire Jim Wood. Jim, what are we making here? We got some sort of fish. What are we doing here? So we got white fish and we have walleye. Okay. Obviously, you don't you can use whatever fish you want on this okay. one. Um, but we're going to do a fish cake. Fish cake. Yep. And what is it? What do you put in that to make that uh, make that work? So we've got a lot of different ingredients over here. Um, we've got some uh, celery, onions, some green onion, mayo, eggs, mustard, fresh dill. So first we got to cook the fish, and we're actually going to uh, blacken it with a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Nice. We're going to cook it all the way through then, right yep. off the get-go. Okay. Yep. Any key in picking out a good blackening? So I've tried to do that before at the house, and I never seem to get one that's good. Do you have uh, one you like? Paul Prudhomme makes a really good one, actually. We make our own seasoning, but um, gotcha. if you're going to buy it at the store, I would, I would go with the Prudhomme one. Okay. I believe it's called Redfish Magic or something like that, but it's pretty good. All right, so we're just going to add these to the pan. What kind of oil do you got in there? This is just olive oil. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to cook these through real quick. What do we do now, Jim? We got our fish cooked off. We're ready to go. What's now we're next? just going to saute some vegetables real quick, like. Okay. While we're doing that, we'll just start adding some other ingredients to the pan, or to the bowl. Got some egg yolk. Oh, I'm sorry. One egg is what that is. One egg, okay. And then this is fresh dill. Okay. Worcestershire. Lemon juice. Some Tabasco. Green onion. All right. We'll salt our vegetables here. We've got a little Dijon mustard. You can use whole grain. You can use pretty much any mustard you want, actually. And some mayonnaise. So basically, you're going to refrigerate that for about a half an hour. Okay. And then we're going to cook the eggs uh, in once they're all together then, or how does that work? Nope. We're going to make the cake. So we'll add this to mixture here with some breadcrumbs, form them into cakes, and then we're going to cook the cakes on the stovetop. Nice. Okay. All right. So now we've got the majority of the ingredients in the bowl, and we're going to add our cooled fish and vegetables back. And why was it important to cool them down first? Well, it'll, it'll fall apart on you, so the fish has got to firm back up a little bit, okay. so it's just going to just flake very easily. I'm not saying it couldn't be done, but... But ideally, you'd want to yeah. chill it for a little bit. Okay. And then what kind of bread type stuff are we putting in there? This is panko, which is a fine like okay. Japanese breadcrumb. You can find it in most stores yeah. now. You probably want to put those in kind of incrementally like that, because if you get it too, if you have too much bread, it would just what? It just dry apart. out. It won't be very good. Okay. And what is the name of this dish? This is going to be a whitefish and walleye cake served with a jalapeno tartar sauce. 